Hello everyone, Sigmalator here. Welcome back to Silent Hill 3. Right, now. What am I doing? Where am I going? Where did I come from? Where did I go? Was my name Cotton Eye Joe? Sounds a little strange. Don't know what that's for. Battery for a stun gun, which I don't currently have. Maybe I've missed it. Leonard and Stanley. Fairy tale, the last part. Oh. Bloody hell, I do not remember where I'm going now. Right. Been through all of that. There was nothing too important in any of those. Oh yeah, there was a phone call, wasn't I? I'm supposed to go somewhere now. Got that key off there. Store. Right, no need to go back down to the basement. There's nothing down there for us. Second floor, roof. Oh, oh, that's just a tick reminding us that we're done there. Okay. Hmm. Let's take the lift and board of the stairs. Yeah, we can't go down to there. So let's go down to the first floor. Right, hold on a second. Right, okay. I just skimmed through my last video. And I remember, just remember, uh, in the phone call, he says he's at the end of the hall of the second floor. Where this Leonard Wolf is supposed to be. End of the hall. Okay, I'm guessing it's that room. The hall is along where all the M doors are. Yeah, remember you. Definitely not that one. This one, although I don't remember that door being there. Oh, good. Nothing ominous about a long dark hallway. You don't get the feeling you're being guided. Like a rat in a cage. Go. 
God. All right, not that way. Ah, oh, we're here. At last. All right, maybe not. Oh. Ah. Dead end. All right, okay. I don't remember this at all. I know I've completed Silent Hill 3 in the, in the past, but I do not remember this. Okay. This picture. This one doesn't make my head hurt when I look at it, but I know this one. It must be. Still has an unusual. I don't open. Getting a pulse, but just barely breathing. Why? What is keeping that child alive? What the hell was I danger? No, it was more like watching a video in a dark room. But that nurse, I know her, Lisa, who was so heavenly toward me in that hellish hospital room. She did get a little weird though. Oh, Lisa. Yeah, she uh, kind of went off the rails, didn't she? Poor Lisa. Hello. I will leave you to your work, sir. I do not wish to disturb you. This is... Okay. Hold on, I missed the door. Was it this one? Yeah. I don't need to check this out. I like to avoid touching this kind of thing if I can. It looks like there's a piece of meat or something on the ground. Eee. Oh, okay, here's the door that opens. And a bucket. Lovely. Their body hanging from the ceiling, the blood dripping from its from it has totally filled the bucket set out below. Who would do this and for what? It looks like a full full out bloodletting. Okay. There's something I can do with well it must be something I can do. Uh Right. Okay, maybe I don't have what I need for that yet. Okay, so that's a thing. No, wrong button. Oh! Huh? 
hand outside the window. Oh, lovely stuff. Oh, got some handgun bullets. That's good. Room SO3. There we go. Okay, that's all those doors checked. Got a restroom. Whoa, okay. No, Heather, let's go around the hole in the floor. Won't use it yet though. B1, B2, B3. Oh god, there's more basement floors. save some ammo. Okay. Oh good, a mirror. That's always a good thing. Oh god! I don't like this. What? Um, have I goofed? Oh no! Okay. Storeroom. I don't know what that room was storing, but I did not care for it at all. Oh, there was another door on the other side with that. Right, let's go check that out. It doesn't look like 
the door is actually there, but let's... Yeah, okay. Whoosh. Eat careful. Let's... Yeah, that, Heather. Behave. Okay. So, the floor I'm currently on is the third floor. So let's go down to the second. We'll be methodical. Oh, it's a wall. <laughs> phone in a locker. A pay phone in a locker. That's not weird at all. Perfectly normal. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear. I forgot your name. Who are you? Oh, okay, thanks. Happy birthday, dear, who are you? Happy birthday to you. Happy 31st birthday. Is this Leonard? That's the murderer's name, not my name. I'm not your beloved Stanley either. He's underground now. His new name is Number Seven. <laughs> but don't worry about that now. It's time to celebrate your birthday. You've got me mistaken for someone else. Today's not my... I'm not mistaken. Today is your 24th birthday. And I have a present for you. Which do you prefer? To give pain or to receive it? You can have the one you hate the most. <laughs> Happy birthday to you! But you're wrong. It's not my birthday. Well, wow, that guy is all kinds of crazy. <laughs> Nothing coming from the receiver? Well, duh, the phone's not connected. But what about that phone call? Yes, exactly. Let's just check the other lockers. No? Okay, well, I'm glad I came in here. Why? Fantastic. Demonstration's good to be in the locker. I think I'm safe, but I shouldn't get too close. I've got a plastic bag. Ooh, I wonder if that's for the bucket of blood.
Can you, can you not with that? No. Stop making me waste ammo. Right, he's dead, that's good. things all right there's no duels according to that right okay uh, I have a plastic bag Well, I'll go back to that bucket of blood and see if uh, the plastic bag is for that purpose. There we go. I, I don't know what that's for. We have it now, so let's go down to first floor and see what the dealio is down here. <sighs> Can we not with those things? got here. The world is teeming with unnecessary people. It's God's, God's decision that I fight. As a knight of honour, as a protector of the seal, I sacrifice myself to the blood of criminals. Who wrote this? Some twisted individual, eh? I see this and I want to ask him, so you think you're one of the necessary ones? It seems like I've heard this protector of the seal business somewhere before. Excellent stuff. Cafeteria is closed. It's locked. Okay, you're over there. And there's a hole in the ground there.
in here. Bunch of chairs. All right then. You got there, nurse? Do you need an inhaler? Ah, good, right. Let's get that. There's a memo here on the chart. Dr. Midkiff, please use extra caution with the, pa with the patient in room 312. He should still have his religious freedom here in the hospital, but he shouldn't push his faith on others. I'm a victim too. Rumour has it he got here by stabbing someone over a religious dispute. Please be careful, R. Crosby. Yes, it looks like the rumour is true. According to the head nurse, I do think he's a good person. Otherwise, though, easy to deal with. All right, then. And with that, I am going to end this episode here. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this, guys. If you liked it, like, subscribe, ding that bell. I've been Sigma Later, this has been Silent Hill 3, and I'll catch you next time. Take care now.